Hi, I'm Hiroki from Hiroki Sensei for All Japanese Learners. Today, I'm going to answer some questions about Suica that were asked in the video I uploaded earlier. I have previously uploaded a video on how to purchase and use Suica, a very useful transportation IC car for traveling in Japan. So, and then I have received many questions on a comment section, so I will try to answer them today. If you haven't seen the video yet, go ahead and watch that one. I have post the link in the description below. What is IC card? Kitaka card. Okay, first of all, an IC card equipped with an IC chip, which is integrated chip that records information and performs calculation. So Suika, Kitaka, and Ikoka are names of IC car issued by each region. And each region has different areas where they can be used, but among them, Suika can be used in almost all areas in Japan. Are these different types of Suika card? Okay, actually, there's four types of Suika card. The first one is normal Suika card. This is an IC card that can be used by anyone and it can be charged automatically calculated the fare for ride by simply touch the car to the ticket gate. The second card is a name registered Suica card that allows you to register your name on the card introduced just now. If you lose it, for example, you can have it reissued at a station. The third is the Suica commuting pass. This is a commuter pass that combines the function of the regular Suica card with that of the commuter pass. It allows you to ride as many times as you like within a certain section. Travelers may not need it much, I think. And the fourth is Mobile Suica, which is a combination of the smartphone and Suica. By putting Suica data in smartphone instead of carrying a physical card, users can pass through gate by simply holding the smartphone up to the ticket gate. It is possibly the most widely used. Also, if you go to Kansai area, you can get an Ikoka card, and you can use it the same as Suica. I heard it was more expensive to use the card and mobile devices. Is that true? Yes, it's actually cheaper than using the physical Suica card. How long can I keep the card? Example, I buy the card and decide not to return the card. Three years later, I visit Japan again can I still use the same card from three years ago? And I, I see other similar questions coming in. Uh, can I still use my card? I haven't used it since 2015. Okay, so there's a good question in the thanks for examples. Okay, and answer is yes. You can use your Suica card in that case. Suica card would expire in 10 years from last time you use it, and you can get refund your money that when you go to the JL station and ask in JL officers. And if you haven't used your Suica for 10 years, your Suica won't be able to use. How can I get Suica card? It is available at a multifunction ticket machines and a JL ticket office at JL East station and at JL ticket office at Shinkansen stations in JL East. So you can purchase them at the major stations in Tokyo and other cities. So please watch the explanation of how to operate the terminal in the other videos. So if you do not understand, please ask the station staff and they will tell you. And um, the release price is either 1000 yen, 2000 yen, 3000, 4000, 5000 and 10,000 yen. And the price includes the 500 yen deposit. The deposit is refundable upon return the card. Can I purchase the card using my Visa card? Uh, okay, so unfortunately, credit cards are not accepted for purchase the card. So you can purchase a Suica commuter pass card with a credit card. But since only a credit card called View Card, which is sold by JL East, is supposed to the fastest, the most reliable way to purchase a Suica card would be with cash. Can you buy Suica using a Visa card at the Narita Airport? So there is a JL station at Narita Airport too, so you can buy them too. Can I get a Suica card online or do I have to get it on Narita Airport or Tokyo Station? So basically, 
Seiko cars can be purchased at the ticket vending machines or ticket office at JL stations. If it is the commuter pass, you can apply for purchase online, but you must actually go to the station to receive it. Can I pay with foreign bank card to buy Suica at the Japanese train station? Uh, okay. It is not possible to make purchases with a cash card, either domestic or foreign, so cash is the quickest way to make purchases. Is there a fee to purchases my Suica card and Suica cards? Okay, so there's 500 yen deposit that you can get back if you return the card. For purchasing Suica card and my Suica card, do they both cost the same? Or one is more expensive than the other? Neither is more expensive than the other. And it depends on the amount of money to be charged. So the amount to be charged is either 1000 yen, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, and 10,000 yen. The release the price and deposit of 500 yen. Should I get the regular card or Traveler's Suica card? Okay, so I think by Traveler's Suica, I think probably mean the Suica card for foreign visitors to Japan and under the name Welcome Suica. You can buy either one, but unlike regular Suica cards, Welcome Suica has 28 day expiration date. You can charge up to 20,000 yen and there is no 500 yen deposit. However, it is non-refundable, so you will lose money if you don't use it up. And you have to charge it with a cash since you can charge it with a credit card. How can I purchase Sika card if I'm from Osaka? We use Ikoka here and only Sika and Passmo can be used in Apple Pay. Okay, so you need to visit somewhere in the Kanto area. Then you can buy Sika card. I've received a lot of questions about charging to buy credit card. Can you buy the physical card but recharge the card with a credit card? Or besides cash, can we recharge the Suica with a Visa or MasterCard? And can we top charge up Suica using MasterCard credit cards? Or maybe on an iPhone, iOS, Android for foreigners. All right, I answer them now. So credit card can also be used for charging, but only credit card called View Card provided by JL. The with the Mobile Suica, however, you can also charge with MasterCard, Visa, and other credit cards. And if you do not want to use cash, I recommend using Mobile Suica, which downloads Suica data to your smartphone instead of the carrying physical card. But with the Mobile Suica, you can charge it with other credit cards too. All right, the so next one, how much yen in the maximum can you credit it in every Suica card? And how much can you put on the card? Is that a maximum? How much can you put on the card? Okay, so you can charge your Suica up to 20,000 and charge it again when it runs out. How much do you think a visitor would use a day regards travel on the bus, train, and the monorail to cover most of the city like Tokyo. Uh, okay, so to be honest, I cannot say since it depends on the distance to be traveled and the place you want to go, but I think it would be about uh, 3,000 and 4,000 yen even if you travel a lot. How much should I load the Suica card for? Should I buy Suica card or JL Pass if I plan to Mount Fuji or Yokohama for day visit too? I see this question has been answered by others in the comment section, so thank you so much. Okay, I would suggest checking every long train ride you're planning on Google Maps. It will tell you the price, and then add all these price and look for the best JL Pass offers. If the JL Pass is cheaper, take it. If not, don't. But I would suggest the secret card and addition of that just in case any charge it whenever you need it for smaller train rides. I think it's right. It costs about 1,000 yen round trip to Tokyo to Yokohama and then about 8,500 yen uh, round trip to Tokyo to Mount Fuji. If you uh, travel long distance, I think your pass will be help. So how do I get back the refund at the end of my travel? 
or must I physically go to the ticket counter to get a refund? How do you return the card? Take out money from it. And it can amount in a card refunded if I leave Japan? Yes, it can be refunded. But you need to pay 220 yen for administrative fee. How to withdraw remaining funds from Suica Apple Pay to credit card? To refund, start the Suica application. Scroll down to the Manage Suica menu in the lower right corner and the top refund this Suica. All right, so the next one. If I purchase a Suica card in Tokyo, will I be able to use the other places like Osaka or Kyoto? Or do I need to purchase an Ikoka? Okay, so Suica can be used in Osaka, Kyoto, and other cities. If you bought Suica first, there is no need to buy Ikoka. Would the Suica card clash with, say, a jail rail pass card? It's the one traveling. Meaning, when you use station each of the cars, JL Pass is a ticket for unlimited travel on all JL trains and buses throughout Japan, and it's sold by the JL Group. You can choose from three uses per year: seven days, fourteen days, and twenty-one days. If you are traveling long distances, you can use the JL Pass to save on travel costs. But if you are only stay in Tokyo, for example, Suica is enough, I think. Also, JL Pass is a paper ticket, so it does not clash with Suica. Can I use in Osaka? And could I use it with Nozomi Shinkansen or any other Shinkansen train? All right, so it is also available in Osaka. However, if you want to use Suica on Shinkansen, you need to register it exclusively in advance. You need to register your Suica with Tachideko Shinkansen services operated by JR. If you use the application, you only need to turn it on from the settings. But if you only have the physical card, you need to register it at the ticket vending machine at the station. So please refer to the website in the description below for details and instructions. All right, so there's the three questions. Can me and my partners share one Suica card if we travel together or have to be one card each? It is good idea for buy the Suica with name or without name. And the second one is, if I am traveling with a family of four, do I need one Suica card for each person or can I use one Suica card for my whole family to buy train tickets? And the last one, can the Suica card be shared with your companions? Okay, one Suica can be shared by more than one person, so each person must have a Suica. If you are worried about losing your card, I recommend you use a name registration system because you can register your name on the card and receive a refund in case you lose it. And for your information, a refund fee of 220 yen will be charged. If my Visa and Amex card are touchless, is a Suica card useful? Um, I think you need cash to get a Suica card. And a Visa Amex touchless payment is not popular here in Japan, actually. So Suica is a better payment method to explore in Japan. What happens if my car does not have enough value to pay for the item in store? Can I still use the card and pay the remaining with the cash? Okay, I think it is a pretty good question. In that case, you need to add some money on a Suica. Can I use Suica with Google Pay? Can I find an app on Play Store? So. How do I add my Suica card on an Android phone? Okay, Suica can also be used with a Google Pay. Also, there is a Suica app on the Play Store. So you can use it by installing it and scanning your card information. So please check the link to the Play Store in the descriptions. Can I use my card on my Android phone, which is not purchased in Japan? Uh, okay, this is an interesting question. Well, basically, 
Sika can be used with wallet function compatible models with Android 6.0 or higher. For the list of compatible models, please check the PDF file in the description below. How can I download Suica in my cell phone? Cell phone. Okay. Um. Okay. So Suica service is no longer available on cell phones other than smartphones. So please download and use Suica on your iPhone or Android device. For iPhone, open the wallet application and hold up your Suica card on the Add Card screen to download Suica data into your iPhone. For Android. Create a Suica account through Google Pay and then add the Suica data to your Android device. Also, note that in both cases, once the Suica data is added to the smartphone, the physical Suica card cannot be used anymore. So if you bring your Suica card to the station within JL East Suica area, the 500 yen deposit that was required when the Suica card was issued will be refunded. The Suica card will be collected at the same time. I don't know how to use the app. Is there a way to change it to English? Uh, okay, so I Google it and then um, and then so far the mobile Suica app does not seem to support English. So it may be easier to add data directly to Google Pay for use instead of using Suica app. If I'm using the phone instead of the physical Suica card after linking it, what must I turn on my phone? Do I have to turn on NFC location and Bluetooth? Suica works with NFC, near field communication, and it must be turned on. It has nothing to do with location or Bluetooth, so there is no need to worry about it. Okay, so this is the last question. Username, think about it, asks, what if you hopped over the gate? Okay, username, think about it. You should think about it. You get arrested. That's all the questions I received. I hope I've answered the questions you've all been wondering. And I put the link in the description below to a video on how to buy a Suica card and how to use it in three different ways. So please check it out there too. And then I hope everyone's trip to Japan is a great one. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a good rest of your day and see you soon.